Hey, it's Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Home Steve, and here is your Massachusetts real estate market update for August 8th, 2022. So we're going to talk about how inventory continues to decline in every market segment. But on top of that, we're also going to look at multifamily data because, hey, we don't talk about it much, and there are people out there that find it really important and are really interested in. So we're going to jump into that multifamily data. And then we have a waiting game for ultimately what's going on with economic, economic data, right? We have questions in regards to the consumer price index as well as the producer's price index, which are going to come out this week. And then we're going to chat about that weekly jobs number that we saw, or I should say monthly jobs number that we saw for July data just last week. And also, hey, what's the story of mortgage rates, right? They're really important because ultimately mortgage rates are one of the driving factors for our real estate market. But first, let's jump into that single family data where we have currently have 5,359 single family homes currently on the market. Now that is down 110 units or about 2% from just last week. So we saw 110 units decrease in just one week. We saw 1,077 newly listed single family homes come on the market in the state of Massachusetts. Now this is 295 less homes than we saw at the same time last year, which is about a 21.5% decrease when we compare the two weeks year over year. We saw 1,193 single family homes go under agreement last week. And again, this is 140 less units than we saw the same time last year, more about a 10.5% decrease in the amount of inventory that came off the market due to properties going under agreement. We saw 789 single family homes close in the state of Massachusetts last week for an average sale price of $797,000 and a median sales price of $625,000. Now, some big numbers is the months of inventory. Now, keep in mind, months of inventory is how we uh, figure out what type of market are we in. Are we in a strong seller's market, buyer's market, an equal market? Now, a seller's market is considered zero to five months worth of inventory. The closer you are to zero, the better the seller's market. We currently have 1.35 months worth of inventory. And here's the shocker. That inventory level went down by 0.1. So we had 1.45 months last week and 1.35 months this week. So that was a really, really, really large move. Another big move is that when we look at the inventory levels and we take it from this week and compare it to the same week last year, right? When we did this last week, we had 918 more single family properties on the market than we did the same time last week. When we looked at it this week, we only had 750 units more in inventory than we had in the same time last week. So that's something we really want to continue to keep our eye on because like I had said earlier, I could thought me and everybody else thought inventory was going to continue to grow all summer long into the new year right because the market was going to continue to slow down but what we're seeing is that less people are coming to the market in order to buy houses but even less sellers are starting to come to the market which is actually creating an imbalance where the market's even becoming a stronger seller's market so ultimately if you're a seller you're hearing this you're thinking about selling there is an opportunity here right now let's head over to the condo market where we have 2,643 condos currently on the market. This is down 50 units from the uh, last week or about 2%. We had 444 newly listed condos this week. Now look, that's one unit more than we had just last week, but that's still 144 units shy from the numbers we saw in the same week back in 2021. We had 399 condos go under agreement last week, which is a far cry from the 526 units that we had go under agreement same week last year, which was ultimately about a 24% decrease in the amount of properties going under agreement, while you saw a 25% decrease in inventory. So, you know, again, there is that imbalance even in the condo market. We had 255 condos go uh, close, excuse me, sell last week for an average sale price of $616,000. And here's what was weird, right? The median price was $482,500. A huge disparity between the two, which we don't necessarily see that big of a difference. I thought that was really interesting. I'm not sure what that says, but I just thought it was really interesting. Ultimately, I'm just dumbfounded by these inventory levels. I did not see them going down, especially to the levels we're starting to see, right? I continue to see sellers trying to take advantage of a quick market where the thoughts that the market might, you know, really be slowing down in the fall and the spring of next year. So, hey, you know, let's let's move forward with our purchase or move forward with our sale in order to take advantage of the hot market now. We're not seeing that, right? Um, which is really crazy because we're seeing a lot of stability in the mortgage market, which we are going to talk about momentarily. 
Now, multifamilies. We currently have 1,240 multifamilies on the market. This is compared to 1,185, same week last year, which was about a 4.6% increase year over year in the amount of uh, multifamilies that we have on the market. We saw 189 multifamily properties come on the market last week, but meanwhile, we saw 200 multifamily sell last week, right? So again, there is your imbalance, right? More properties are going under agreement than properties that are being listed on the market. We're seeing it in all three property segments in the state of Massachusetts. We saw 117 multifamily properties sell last week for an average sale price of $787,000 and a median sales price of $660,000. Now let's just jump over to the mortgage market real quickly. But first, if you like this data, you find it interesting, then please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. We're gonna do this every single week, especially as we're really gonna probably start seeing some pretty big swings in the Massachusetts real estate market soon. So, you know, stay up to date is that whole point. So the mortgage markets, literally, right when I posted my video last week talking about how mortgage rates went down to 5%, posted it, boom, they went up to about 5.3. We saw them go up to about 5.4% last week. But here's the great news. We've seen some great stability in the last week. They've really hovered and stayed around that 5.3, 5.4. That's for a 30-year fix. Keep in mind, different mortgage products are going to have different rates. Also, uh, mortgage rates are dependent on credit scores as well as how much you're looking to put down as two other examples as, an, as a great example. So these are just the average mortgage rates we're seeing in the market. But we're seeing market stability, which again is a really great thing for the real estate market in general. So talking about the consumer and producer price index, right? We're gonna see the July numbers this week, tomorrow, as well as Thursday. Uh, they're gonna come out. These are really, really, really telling and really important numbers for the Fed to look at because ultimately this is some of the biggest data pieces that they look at to decide how much they're going to be increasing that federal funds rate. But here's the thing, last week we saw new jobs 526,000 new jobs for the month of July. And that number right there made it so that way people are ultimately talking about the Fed increasing interest rates by 100 basis points or 1% the next time they meet. Because right now they're scratching their head. They're saying to themselves, we continue to increase rates more and more, right? We continue to increase the federal funds rates and it is not slowing down the economy. And that is what they're trying to do in order to tame inflation. They need to slow down economy, the economy. So yeah, it's going to continue to happen. These are the big numbers that we need to continue to look at to really figure out how aggressive are they going to be next week. Now, again, my name is Jeff Chubb with the Chubb's Home Team. If you have any questions or comments about the market, please throw those in uh, the chat box below. If you have any questions about your own specific real estate needs, right, don't throw those below. Give me a call. Reach out to me directly. That's your own information. That's your confidential information, right? Reach out to me, reach out to me directly. All my information is in the description below. And then... If you like this market data, then can you please do me a favor? Can you please hit that like button? Can you please consider subscribing and even possibly sharing with any friends and family members who are thinking about making a move in the state of Massachusetts? So until next week, look forward to chatting with you then.